Hello, my name is Marcello. Welcome to the Source AV Design Group's YouTube channel. Today we are looking at an audio system from Audio Research that is one of their best-selling combos for excellent reason. The Reference ADS Stereo Amplifier and LS28SE Line Stage Preamplifier. This video will primarily discuss my impressions of the component's build quality, design, and sound quality. Audio Research, one of the oldest American audio manufacturers, has been manufacturing spectacular audio products in the United States since 1970. From their 48,000 square foot technically advanced production plant in Maple Grove, Minnesota, the Audio Research team guides each product from concept and design through assembly and finishing. Audio Research takes great pride in manufacturing audio products that will last many generations, and their knowledgeable technicians can repair and restore the majority of products made throughout their rich product line history. The Reference ADS Vacuum Tube Stereo Amplifier was created for listeners who don't need the output power of the larger Reference 160S Stereo Amplifier offered by Audio Research. If you haven't seen the video of the Audio Research Reference Mono 160M Mark II amplifiers and Reference 6SE preamplifier on our YouTube channel yet, I will link it at the end of this video as many of the feature sets are the same between the amplifier and preamplifier in this video. The design language of the Ref ADS is shared with the Ref 160S with dual ghost meters that float in front of four KT150 output tubes. The Ref ADS also uses two 6H30 tubes for the gain stage and weighs a hefty 62 pounds with a width of 18.5 inches, a height of 10.5 inches, and a depth of 18.5 inches or 21 inches when including the handles and connections on the back of the amplifier. So a proper audio rack with ample clearance around the top and sides of the amplifier is recommended for heat dissipation. The Ref ADS also has a single shallow whisper fan built into the amplifier's bottom plate to aid with heat dissipation. The ADS is a very flexible stereo amplifier with XLR and single-ended inputs with speaker output terminals for 4, 8, and 16 ohm speakers. Like the more powerful Ref 160S, the Ref ADS uses a proprietary auto bias circuit that according to audio research adjusts automatically for both tube age and voltage swings. The stereo tube amplifier also shares the switchable triode pentode operation found in the Ref 160S, allowing the amplifier to output 70 watts per channel in pentode mode or 33 watts in triode mode, as well as delivering two distinct qualities of sound to choose from, which we will talk about a bit more when we get to the sound impressions portion of the video. The Ref ADS allows you to monitor tube hours with the inclusion of an hour meter on the back of the amp, and along with the world-class tube selection process from Audio Research, the Auto Bias circuit makes this stereo tube amplifier superbly easy to use with incredible performance. The design of the Ref ADS is a fully balanced differential design that provides ultimate performance with extremely low distortion, using a four-layer circuit board to provide a separate ground plane, better circuit layout, and fewer noise-inducing point-to-point connections. According to audio research, the reference ADS has a frequency response of 7 Hz to 94 kHz. The audio research components I have enjoyed demoing at home have had the lowest inaudible noise levels of any tube amplifier design. This leads to the blackest background and impeccable soundstage reproduction, part of the high definition and holographic sound audio research products are so famous for. Looking next at the LS28SE line stage preamplifier, which uses proprietary gold coupling caps found in the Ref 6SE. Using four 6H30P dual triode tubes, the LS28SE, according to Audio Research, has an FR of 0.4 Hz to 200 kHz, a THD of less than 0.007%, with a main output gain of 18.5 dB from the balance output and 12.5 dB from the single-ended output. The LS28SE uses a rotary volume selector that is 103 steps and a rotary input selector with push buttons for power, menu, enter, mono, invert, and mute on the front of the preamplifier underneath the display. The display will allow you to see tube hours and many more of the setup and feature options of the preamplifier. The LS28SE weighs 16 pounds and has a width of 19 inches, a height of 6.5 inches, and a depth of 13.7 inches, not including the 1.6 inch handles extending from the preamplifier's face. Turning the LS28SE around, you will see four sets of balance inputs, four sets of single-ended inputs, three sets of outputs, one set of balance and single-ended record outs, and two sets of balance and single-ended main outputs. Lastly, you have the RS-232, IR input, and 12-volt trigger out to connect with other components for power on and off functionality. 
The current price for the REF ADS is $16,000 and the price for the LS28 SE is $10,000. However, most all audio research products will see a price increase on March 25th, 2024. So if you have been considering purchasing an audio research system, I would reach out to Wayne and Jason at the store and get your orders in before that date to save some money. As an owner of the i50 integrated tube amplifier from Audio Research, which is the most affordable integrated amplifier currently in their lineup, I can say that if you can budget for the REF 80S and LS28 SE, you will be rewarded in several ways. If I could go back and do it again, I would have likely saved up a bit more and purchased the REF 80S or REF 160S, then added the LS28 SE preamplifier as money permitted. The visual design language, Ghost meters and the KT-150 tubes are truly special when paired with my Sonos Faber Olympica Nova 5 speakers. By upgrading to the REF ADS from the i50, you gain about 20 watts per channel in pentode mode. The REF ADS also has auto bias, unlike the i50, and did I already mention those lovely ghost meters? Ideally, in a perfect world, of course, it would be awesome to get the amplifier and preamplifier together, but if your current budget doesn't permit that and you have a high-quality DAC, like the two used for my impressions in this video, you can use the preamplifiers built into those DACs, which can do the job until funds permit you to purchase the Audio Research LS28 SE. Just food for thought for those of you in the market for a new speaker amplifier, especially with the upcoming Audio Research price increases. If you would like more technical specs and info about each component, please visit the links in the video description or come to the store, as all audio research products are currently in-store sales only. Let's get into my favorite part of the video and discuss the sound quality of the REF ADS when paired with the LS28 SE. For my impressions, I utilize three main source components. For digital streaming, I utilize my Chord Electronics Hugo TT2 as the DAC and a Ferrum Audio Hypsos Hybrid Power System with Ferrum Power Link and Vondela Digital to Analog Converter. I use my Marantz TT15S1 turntable with clear audio virtuoso cartridge and a RIAA Phono Preamp from SPL for analog listening. The dual mono reference 160M Mark II amplifiers from Audio Research and the reference 6SE preamplifier are still the best amplifier preamplifier combo I have heard in house. Part of the reason is that system just delivers more power in both triode and ultra linear mode for my speakers. This is especially valuable for the Novify speakers when listening in triode mode, as the output power is cut in half to 33 watts with the Ref ADS stereo amplifier. However, even though Sonus Faber recommends a minimum of 60 watts for the Nova 5 towers, the REF 80S when paired with the LS28 SE preamp deliver plenty of volume and reasonably good control of the larger speaker drivers in the Nova 5 towers, even when in the less powerful triode listening mode. So if you didn't know, Audio Research puts a small wizard inside every amplifier who casts magical spells, allowing their amplifiers to sound bigger and better than other amplifiers that have higher power output ratings. Obviously, I am joking, but seriously, I suspect this wizardry in sound is due to the high current output design of Audio Research amplifiers, but I'm not 100% sure how this magic is happening. Granted, my room is not huge, and my listening distance is only about 9 feet away. You do give up some dynamics, impact, speed, and slam in the triode mode versus the more powerful pentode mode. This is an important point for me to make as the triode mode sounds magical, presenting a sweeter, rounder, and more holographic three-dimensional sound that some listeners will associate with gorgeous tube amp sound. When switching to pentode mode, the sound is faster, more dynamic, hits harder, and is especially fun to pair with hard-hitting electronica and some faster-paced rock. However, the triode mode just does it for me, especially when I'm listening to vocals. The way the triode mode projects vocals on the soundstage of the Nova 5 Towers is large, well-defined, yet seemingly floating the vocals in the air longer with sweeter tone and delicious decay that is very addictive to listen to. The sound is organic and lifelike, as if the artist is in the room performing a private show for you. So it's a cool feature of the amplifier that allows you to choose the type of listening experience you want to have based on the genre of music, recording you are listening to, or the type of fine wine or greenery you may be pairing with your listening session. Ideally, the larger Ref 160S stereo amplifier would be the best of both worlds for the Nova 5 Towers, giving you 140 watts per channel in ultra linear mode and 70 watts per channel in triode mode. So these are things to take into consideration when trying to decide between the Ref 80S or the larger Ref 160S, as less efficient speakers will perform better with a more powerful Ref 160S.
In pentode mode, the REF ADS and LS28SE present a reference quality of sound that isn't warm sounding, nor is it bright sounding, but presenting neutrality, at least when paired with the Nova 5 towers and the source components I have in-house. The Chord Hugo TT2 as the DAC does present the most analytical sound of my source components in-house, but it also has the best timing, soundstage depth, and detail reproduction. However, some listeners will prefer the sound of the Ferrum Vondela for its better balance with the already high-definition, ultra-detailed, and clean sound of the audio research components. As with all things in audio, this will come down to personal preferences, and I have been listening to both DACs and have been highly engaged and entertained with all the source components I use for this video, all sitting at different price points. I would still, for my preferences, pair the REF ADS and LS28SE with speakers that are a touch laid back or at least not bright sounding, as pairing them with bright or very treble forward speakers would not align with my preferences. I think Sonus Faber speakers are a superb match for audio research components, and many also love Focal speakers when paired with audio research, but the best way to find out is to get out to your local dealer and give them a listen. So without a doubt, I am a big fan of the REF ADS stereo amplifier and LS28SE line stage, and audio research has yet to disappoint me with any of their incredible components. Some of you will want to know what the weaknesses of the audio research system are, as that's how it goes on YouTube. I will tell you one thing, it's not the remote of the LS28SE. That thing is built like a beautiful tank and could be used to bludgeon an intruder if need be. So the only thing I can think of is power output, and I already discussed the use case for the more powerful REF160S if your speakers will perform better in triode or pentode mode with that extra power. Some viewers will say, yeah, but these audio products are expensive. Well, audio research products are made in the USA with superb build quality, the most in-depth tube selection process in the industry, in-house made ghost meters, high quality parts, high quality service, and most importantly, spectacular sound are just a few of the reasons their components cost what they do. In my experience, quality audio products are not cheap, and the cheaper products come with some major compromises. I've always found prices very personal to every person, and you should spend what you feel comfortable spending. If you've been on the fence on buying an audio research system, you can lock in some savings by making sure to make your purchase before March 25th. So come down and see us or your local audio research dealer. If you are interested in trading up your old headphones, amplifiers, or other gently used audio gear for a new set of headphones or a new amplifier, check out the links in the video description to our trade-up program, and don't forget, we will price match other authorized dealers. We have some cool videos coming this year with new product announcements, so please consider subscribing to our channel today. From $150 earphones to multi-million dollar home audio, cinema, and automation systems, TSAV is a hi-fi enthusiast paradise for building the system of your dreams. So let's start the conversations in the video comments on what you think of this incredible audio research system. While you're there, smash that like button for us. Until next time, friends, remember, let the music be your guide.